People with diabetes know the importance of nutrition. And today I want to talk about an eating strategy that can help people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes achieve their glucose or their glycemic goals. A lot of people are familiar with low carbohydrate or high protein eating patterns to manage their glucose. And I want to talk about an approach that can be applied to every eating pattern, whether it's low carbohydrate, low fat, ketogenic, fasting, vegan, you name it. I've got a strategy that can be applied to any of those eating patterns to help improve glycemic goals. Research suggests that people with the highest quality eating pattern tend to have the lowest A1C. For example, in a paper that looked at people from the T1D exchange, we saw that people with the highest healthy eating index had the lowest A1C. And the healthy eating index is really just a marker of the quality of someone's diet. The healthy eating index is something that researchers use to evaluate the quality of someone's food. So for example, some things that we'd be looking at are the amount of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, um, and then also looking at things that we don't want necessarily to see too many of, which are things like added sugars and salts, for example. The way I like to think about the healthy eating index and how that plays out for people eating foods are kind of under this umbrella of the pillars that can be applied to any eating strategy. So for example, aiming to eat more whole foods, that means things that are not packaged or are very minimally processed. So for example, that might look like instead of grabbing a granola bar or a protein bar as a snack, grabbing a handful of dry roasted nuts and a piece of a fruit like an apple or an orange or something. The second pillar would be aiming to get at least half the plate as non-starchy vegetables. So that would be things like broccoli, cauliflower, bell peppers, leafy greens, really lots and lots of options out there. And people might say, well, I don't really want to go with half a plate of vegetables, then it's best to say, how can I add these vegetables into what I'm already eating? Maybe filling an omelet with a whole bunch of veggies or adding vegetables to a soup or stew recipe in two to three times the quantity that would be called for in the regular recipe. The next one would be to reduce the quantity of refined grains and added sugars. So refined grains, you can think of things like the white pastas and, and white rice or things like heavily processed breads um, or our packaged meals that can be um, purchased in the freezer section at a grocery store. And instead of that going for what's the whole option? Is there a whole brown rice or a whole oat that could be substituted instead? For the reduction in sugar, it could be something as simple as um, instead of going for a fruited yogurt, aiming to have a plain yogurt, but taking a big scoop of frozen berries and mixing that in. Another pillar is to aim to remove any sugar sweetened beverages. So in place of the energy drink or soda or sweet tea, aiming for water whenever possible. That could be a bubbly water, any sort of sparkling water, even a, a no calorie flavored water, but really removing those sugar sweetened beverages. For me, this eating pattern is much more about aiming for nutrient dense whole foods and a lot less about looking at specific grams of carbohydrates, proteins, or fats. The American Diabetes Association website has some really great resources to help people eat better and to bring some of these pillars to life. So for example, on the ADA website, there is the Healthy Living page and um, the Diabetes Food Hub with great resources like recipes um, and, and tips and tricks to make that will work in your kitchen. There's also some great tips on the ADA website that show you how to eat healthy on a budget. Because I know that's a worry for a lot of people. How am I gonna do this with a limited budget? But there really are ways and the ADA has some great resources for you. So all in all, this isn't about following a particular diet. This is about thinking of ways to improve the quality of the foods that you're eating, to improve not only your diabetes, but your overall health.